Well, isn't that a wonderful story? It all started from a tiny little seed. Now it's time for our activity. Let's meet the author. This is Eric Carl. Eric Carl is an American writer and illustrator of over 70 pieces of children's literature. Most famous for his book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Well, he is also the one who wrote our story, The Tiny Seed, and The Mixed Up Chameleon. Do you remember that? But what is an illustrator? A book illustrator is a person that creates drawings and other illustrations for books. The images the illustrator adds helps to bring the stories alive. Eric Carl creates collages to use for the illustrations in his books. A collage is a piece of art created by combining photos, clippings, or small objects onto a surface. Look at all the beautiful colors and textures he used in these images. I wonder how he does it. First, Eric Carl makes beautiful painted papers. He does papers of different colors. He adds different textures like stripes and polka dots. He uses tools to scratch into the paints so it gives a nice texture look. Now he has to set it to dry and he'll go back to make more paper. He keeps all different colors and textures in different bins that he can use for his different projects. Once his papers have dried, he decides what animal or character he wants to do. He gives it a sketch and uses those beautiful painted papers to cut and fill in the spaces. And that's how he does his beautiful painted paper collages. So for this activity, we will try to create our own Eric Carl inspired collage. You can use whatever you have at home such as paint, markers, watercolors, colored pencils, crayons, or oil pastels. You can also use sponges, scrubs, or any toys to make the textures. So first, you will need plain papers or a tissue paper, whatever is available, and fill it with your favorite colors. Then for texture, use a sponge or pot scrubs to pat paints on your paper. If you do not have paints, you can create dots, lines, or different strokes onto your paper. Repeat the steps using different colors on another paper. Create different ones. Once you are done or your papers are dry, decide what to turn them into. Maybe an animal, a person, or a scenery. You can create anything you can imagine. Cut out your own shapes or some pieces out to build your own image. You can even make a collage for the first letter of your name. So what are you waiting for? Go and try it. Have fun!